Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Lewis, founder of Real Health Innovations, and we're a health creation company. Today I'm going to present our workshop on autoimmunity. Now autoimmunity is something we might have heard of, but actually when you look at this condition medically, it is so ubiquitous. It affects so many different attributes of our health, and it's so misunderstood. And one of the things is in traditional medicine, your allopathic doctor, your regular doctor, you don't really have treatments for autoimmune disease to get to the core of it. So we're going to discuss what it is and then some options. So there's over a hundred different types of autoimmune disorders. I like to think there's only one. There's autoimmune disease and it manifests in many different ways, but we love to put assignments to it. So from fibromyalgia to psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's disease or the thyroid, even leukemia, uh, celiac disease, uh, neuropathies, even heart disease, all these things, and, and dementias, all these things could essentially be classified as autoimmune conditions. So what is autoimmune? Is it, it, it could be an immune deficiency. We have too little immune strength to deal with some insult, some outside invader or something going on adverse in our body. Or it could be a hypersensitivity. Just a little teeny bit of something, we have an imprint and it triggers an immune reaction which is way beyond, it's, it's like nuking a mosquito, it's just, it's just too much. So we have uh, too much autoimmunity or we could just have misdirected. In other words, our body sees something it thinks is an, is an invader, but the invader has done a very good job, like a chameleon, masking and looking like something that looks, that's part of our body. So our body then attacks that invader, but in so doing there's collateral damage to our own tissue. So these are the various things that can be happen, happening in autoimmunity. You can see it covers a wide array of possibilities. So I like to just start off with this, that if chicken, pro, chicken egg protein, and we, people eat eggs every day, protein can create a foreign or adverse reaction in our body. So if I just take a little chicken or egg protein and put it under my skin and monitor it, I'll have a severe adverse reaction there. But when I eat an egg, what happens is I digest that protein and all the foreign aspects that make the chicken the chicken and convert it to building blocks to rebuild my own tissue. So that's what's going on. So this should give us a clue that digestion, proper digestion, pay, plays a key part in autoimmunity. So the source, what is the so source of autoimmunity? And it really is the gut, leaky gut syndrome. Th things come into your body that should stay in the digestive tract, but instead pass through into our tissue, into our circulatory system, then we can have an adverse reaction. So uh, autoimmune disease, intestinal inflammation of the gut lining, nutrient malabsorption, we have an immune response, we have issues from um, food intolerances, this whole cycle, every one of these things can be contributing to an autoimmune condition. And even if it's the same process in 10 people, they may manifest or develop 10 different types of autoimmune conditions. It's a very personalized disease, unfortunately. But this is what it looks like. We have food coming in, and then we have this, what we call normal tight junctions, the, the lining, the tissue lining between the gut and the circulatory system, and we have some inflamed tissue, and we, have, we can have some leakiness of materials into the system which should not be there, which are not commonly well known by our body and accepted as part of um, who we are. That's, you know, you, you've heard about um, surgical re rejection. The body rejects that because it's a foreign substance to our body. No different than if we're not digesting food or if our gut isn't working properly, we can get things that don't belong there. So molecular mimicry is a complex term but all it's saying is, at the end of the day, whether it's a virus, 
or a toxin or a protein uh, from food. These are just little snips, little strings of protein. And all our tissue is made of protein, so there can be pieces of our thyroid, for example, that look a lot like an undigested piece of egg protein. And our body amounts a immune response to that, and then the thyroid that looks a lot like it can be attacked, and we call that autoimmune disease of the thyroid. So it's a complex thing, but it all starts in the gut. So that's the problem. What is the solution? So first of all, the gut has to be front and center to your health. No antacids of any type. You need strong acid in your gut. You may have heartburn or reflux. There are solutions to that problem that aren't antacid in, in nature. And if you've done antacids, you have to reestablish good stomach acid. Improve the diet. I have two daughters with celiac disease, so they can't take in gluten. So the only solution to them feeling well every day is to eliminate the offending foods. They can't take in gluten in any, any way, shape, or form. Fermented vegetables are extraordinarily good at building a wall in your gut against things that would normally or might get across and cause problems. Coconut products, we're finding, are very antibiotic against bad pathogens bad, uh, that can be in the gut lining. Sprouted seeds, fish, I won't go into all these probiotics, we're aware of that. There are probiotic foods, we used to call them in the good old days, fiber, fiber-rich foods. And then there are specific supplements for diseases, like tightening up those tight junctions or eliminating a small intestinal bacterial overload, things of that nature. So if we look at infection and autoimmunity, there's a lot of indications that we call it autoimmunity, but it may be a stealth infection that has not been properly identified. And if we can identify and treat that pathogen, like in this case, chlamydia and pneumonia, then it's not autoimmunity anyway. It was infection, and we can solve that problem. So autoimmunity can be a misnomer for an infectious condition. So more problems and solution, cod liver oil, simple supplement. Uh, your grandmother undoubtedly gave your mother cod liver oil to prevent rickets, which is a bone disease, but also to reduce the likelihood of having tuberculosis uh, in, your, in the children. So the other thing is, this is from a very famous Yale professor who wrote the book called uh, Gut Bliss and the Microbiome Solution, and she suggests that we rewild re ourselves. We go back to nature, we do things that are called more paleo, more raw foods, more fermented foods, more natural foods to make our gut what it used to be years ago as the first line of defense against infection and autoimmune disease in our body. My name is Dr. Tom Lewis. Hope you enjoyed this workshop on autoimmunity and thank you for your time.